And now, the award-winning Simply Youth Ministry Podcast with Doug Fields and Friends. Hey, everybody. Doug Fields here with Matthew McGill and... Um, you can call me Josh. 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 Start of the show. Happy Valentine's and, Day. And uh, okay. my beautiful and lovely wow. wife, Kathy Fields. Ladies and gentlemen. Who's uh, sitting in because Jana is uh, in Hawaii. Shh, and we're all right here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Podcast first oh right here. from the McGill family. That was amazing. Um, I do loud hey, laughs, not loud down. talking. So Jana is in Hawaii and chose not to be Skyped in. Yes. Natalie is on um, maternity that, leave. That just proves that she views this as work. What's that? Mm. Natalie? Jana. Jana. That's oh, interesting. We, we, we view it as fun. Play. Yeah. We're just yeah. having a good time. Got lunch out of it today. Thank <laughs> goodness. Is nice. yeah. This is Valentine's Day. Kathy Fields is here. Yes. My beautiful bride, who Andy Braceton has a crush on. Um, it has since After all these grade. years. It is what it is. Hey. Still Look at Brazel can say that without getting his ears red. <laughs> <laughs> he does That's have awesome. a silly grin, though, right now. It's it true. Is a, uh, it is a Valentine's <laughs> Cat. Right. Kathy's Kathy never seen right. Brazel naked like Jana has. That's so. true. Oh, as far as you know. <laughs> as far as we know. That's right. Wow. I was going to say that. Here we go. All right. You guys all want um, but we I'm have uh, it's Valentine's, right it's now. Valentine's nice. special. It is, and uh, the show will be posted the day after Valentine's Day. Oh, happy which day actually, after Valentine's which actually might be a simple youth mystery first that it's posted within except for like, when I was doing it. Hours. Well, yeah, we would like do yeah. it and then post we, it. You'd have it posted before you recorded <laughs> it. Sometimes. Like you guys ever the show. <laughs> Was it Are the you first time kidding me? It? No, you've never posted a podcast. This podcast ever. I totally have. Never. Do we, yes. do we have a bet going? I think we should out back in Cincinnati right yeah, here, right now. Dude, why did I have feed for all on my computer then? Not for us. It was always me and Josh mm-hmm. and Natalie. Oh, Nadine? this hurts Nadine? so bad. Nadine, Josh. Oh, Matt man. Is headed to Hawaii, folks. Josh, can you, do you remember? Can you pull out your mind? Um, pull yes. out the memories? Pull out your mind. Yes, I can. Can you pull really out your mind and yeah. your memories? Um, hey, by the way, are you wearing your son's shirt today? <laughs> <laughs> What? Just because it's a little oh, tight. A little I'm tight. I'm sitting up very straight so my rolls don't stick out. It's nice. No, I'm done. It's Valentine's Day. I've no, I got it as a wedding gift, and I and I haven't been able to wear it. A wedding gift? So you still I'm, aren't able to wear it. I'm going to throw it away after today. But I I wore a sweatshirt. You see the sweatshirt I was wearing? I like the collar, but I don't like everything else. <laughs> I think Josh. Doug might have a crush on me right now. This is great. Oh, no. Valentine's Day. You just coughed your lung into my eye. I'm sorry. Hey, let's get started. I huh? totally posted these, Brace. Hey, when that do we hurts. start recording the okay, show? Okay, I hate Seriously. to interrupt and I hate to disagree with Andy, but I thought Matt did post these. I did. It was a total pain. Okay. Let's, I was the one that... Now we don't care. Okay. We don't care. Um, I'll, this show, way. though, this show... Uh, yeah, award-winning show. Award-winning show. Mm-hmm. But here's the deal. It, we, sh- we, we shot it, because yeah. I guess we are shooting with the video. Mm-hmm. We recorded it last week, and it wasn't posted until Monday, which is just three days ago. Right. And already got... Dozens of emails, even though it was a late, late show. Or late post. Andy, Andy dropped the ball posting. It took less than show. 72 hours to get the show. Less 72 than hours. Less than 72, less than 72 Andy, plus a week. I could have done that with my 95 baud modem. Well, sir, we have 200 pounds a day. We have some other things that we, you know, are just... Nothing important. is more important oh, than this podcast. Oh, so you're selling a product... Is more and shipping it out is more and pastors on a daily basis. And oh, we're not servicing, we're right, not servicing we pastors yeah. Yeah, to come in to drive from our yeah. our church yeah. office. To Which here. is so far away. Apparently, it's, people it's, care about yes. you, Brazel, and not us. That's right. All right. So, no. you think if you could reduce that, you get that if you get that 72 hours to 24? Okay. Or even, let's take the reciprocal, 27. Is that the reciprocal? I have no idea. I don't even know what that means. I don't know. I'm still laughing at Josh's shirt. I know. What size is that, bro? It's two XL, but it's uh, That's a two XL. But it's some fancy brand. It's the Here, uh, uh, it's it the is? shorty kind. Yeah. It's the uh, yeah. slim cut, maybe. There's J Crew. J Crew, C. Double X. See? Double XL? Yeah. J. Crew. Yeah. But yeah. sitting, I don't know that people get the full gist of it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to stand? I Why don't you stand in front do you of want the video? view? Yeah, let's do that. Should let's we give them the view that head. you got? Okay. Well, there it is. There it is. <laughs> but stand up. Nice. Now reach up. Oh, this is yawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Right here. Now I'm going to sit back down. Yeah, All right. Okay. Okay. That's beautiful. That's awesome. It's a special I meeting up there, guys. That's, that's my podcast. gift. That's my gift to our community of listeners. Hey, next week when we're doing the show and live. Watchers. Yeah. Would you so buy a new wear shirt? the same shirt? No, buy a new shirt. I was thinking I need to go shopping. This Charge week. it simply. <laughs> we're going You're next great. week. Great. You yeah. heard it. Yeah. We're leaving Not a week from today. A week yeah, from week from today. Oh, today, yeah. yeah. Are you going on Wednesday? No, I'm leaving Thursday. I'm going today Wednesday? Wednesday. You are? Today's oh. Thursday. Today's Thursday. Oh. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, Valentine's Day. 14. So you're leaving mm. Wednesday? I remember Wednesday, thinking, yeah. man, I'll have most of, I'll have everything in line for the regional campuses opening. I'll just take off. It'll be great. No big deal. Yeah. Still don't have a location for Corona. You know what, though, Matt? Yesterday, let's... Let's give people a little bit of hope because people listen to you and they think you have it all together. They think you are the pinnacle. I, I of, of think theology. a lot of. I they think, think a lot of people think you have ministry. They pinnacle think you've got the greatest marriage and the best kids. And the most. Uh, Matt had the greatest marriage. The yesterday. kids. Jury's still out. Yesterday, Matt had Not a even at the birthday age of accountability party. Yet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he had a birthday party at three thirty for his three o'clock. Three o'clock, which. By the way, it was the most ridiculous time in the world to have a birthday party to expect your friends to be there who have real jobs. But I call him at four o'clock and say, "Matt, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. I wish I could." And yeah. Was, I know Kathy's going, and Matt goes, "Oh, don't worry about it. I'm still in Corona." <laughs> no, he's, he's I just got back miles, from Corona. He's Forty miles away from his kid's birthday the story, party. An hour the truth of the story, the truth of the story is yeah, good yeah. enough. No, 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 no. Don't keep the truth from telling a good story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then he says, Great. "Okay, tell me, is this accurate?" Then you pull up to Chuck E. Cheese an hour late. I pulled up to Chuck E. Cheese and an hour I was late. an hour late. Okay, how yeah, late was, were you? It was that was when you called me at three thirty. It was three forty, and I said, "Y'all, I'm forty minutes late for the party." Okay. So it was forty minutes okay. late. So not an hour. I exaggerated. Yeah, you exaggerated yeah, the first. And uh, I pull up to Chuck E. Cheese, and I look around. And I can't see my wife's car, which is very distinguishable. Because uh, not a sure if that's a word. Van. And Rolls. and so it has the, a name on it. Yeah. Yeah, and very so then I'm like, Absolutely. "Oh, this sucks. Why didn't um, somebody tell me that, that we were at the other Chuck E. Cheese?" And I thought, well, it's really my fault, I know. So then I drive to the other Chuck E. Cheese. You did not. Which is much I did. further away yeah. Which is our like, friends who oh, don't know where it is. Direction. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's 15 miles, do you think? No. 15 yeah. minutes, for sure. 15 minutes, okay. for oh, sure. Yeah. No, it was Down yeah, the with direction. traffic oh, and all that stuff. No. So then I get there, and I drive in that parking lot, and I don't see the car. And I'm like, oh, don't tell me I missed the party was my first thought. And then I was like, no, no, I'm only an hour and 20 minutes late to the party. I know the party is lasting at least two hours. And so then I realized it's at Pump It Up, an entirely different place. Mm. Back near Way the back, other Chuck E. Cheese. Right back near the first <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. 45 minutes late. Closer to Corona, even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So I drive back here, oh. and I'm like, where is this stupid place? And, of course, me, she's not picking up her cell phone, only because... Yeah, she has she's to run a the party. party yeah, she's got mom. a party. Yeah, <laughs> and so I look it up on my phone where it's at, and it says this address, and I go there, and it's not there, and I'm like, just right at this point. And I also had a long day. Yep. By yep. the way, yeah. which we won't go yeah. into. Emotional, no, a lot of tears. Really yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Those. Right. Yeah. yeah. Did, did I say it like I was the only no, one that has no, those? Just, it's a little yeah. bit of a martyr. Oh, you're trying to be funny. No, no, trying to speed the story along. <laughs> well, you should have told it with all your lies. Well, <laughs> it was more enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I really did. That yeah. version. So I might not have so been exactly accurate, but right. you missed your kid's birthday party. All right. <laughs> Summarize. So, so, there you go. All right. Well, let's. What, let's should we talk about Brazel not being at the birthday party either? No. Well, having a real job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When Mish played it at that time, maybe should customers. we talk about why was Josh at the party? Ah, yeah. Party? yeah. <laughs> it's pumping it that up. The turnaround? That's why I'm at the party. It's pumping up. And I noticed you taking care of his children. That's of that Andy's children. I yes. adopted a son. Yes. Andy's boy is now my adopted son because he was longing for a dad and his dad wasn't there. Yeah. Let's be honest. We also could have done the podcast yesterday, but we chose not to do the podcast yesterday, which we normally do on Wednesdays because this party, you didn't even go to the party. <laughs> oh, Matt, you were at the party. But, Matt, no, let's pause and yeah. focus on this, I, Kathy. Yeah. Because, because uh, in this Reader's Choice Awards, yeah. uh, Best Ministry Theology Podcast, Simply Youth Ministry. I remember you telling me about that. Theology, that great. isn't that the best part yeah. of it? Didn't we talk about it at a dinner table one time and you guys all laughed? 
<laughs> you couldn't I believe don't remember it. That part. Welcome to an award-winning show, dear. Well, thank you. <laughs> and not only that, not only that, we have we have live phone calls. You, so you're the first one. Oh, fun! Not no, live. We, not live. Voicemail. 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 Okay, let's play one, Andy. Okay. Right. Which one do we want him to play? Let's play um, Jim Clark. Oh, okay. Message one. Hey, Dougie guys, it's uh, Jim Clark from Fox Valley Christian Church in Stadium, Illinois. Just uh, I heard the phone number on here, so I called and leave you a little low. So. Uh, I'm with uh, I'm with Doug on the 60 minute thing. I think a longer podcast is better, but uh, that's just that's just one opinion. So I want to get in on that. Said but uh, my question is, uh, with the conference coming I up remember. in a couple weeks in Cincinnati, what are you Not guys looking for for the most? So, you said uh, you wanted one. Hope you, wanted 60 uh, minutes. Hope you get to hang out with you and see you in a couple weeks. So. Uh, it doesn't oh, matter if I was talking. We're going to cut it out. What? No, okay. That ends Andy real abruptly. We actually, actually asked you not to talk. No, it's okay if we're talking. It's just not going to get recorded. That's all. Is that true, Andy? Oh boy. Yeah. This well, is going to be recorded now. Because Andy, Andy recorded said before up. show, don't talk when I play the. But what he meant was, oh, is don't. Okay. Yeah, because they're going to lay down the audio on top of what I said. So I could have said, you know, I worship Satan, and it wouldn't have mattered because it was going to get copied over. You, you hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, back when Matt was posting the show. <laughs> just kidding. All right. So, Kath, here's yeah. what happened. We're an award-winning show. Yes. That's and, so great. And um, phone line. we said, after we won this <laughs> award, we said, you know, let's don't be just status quo. Let's let's become an award-winning show. With yes. a phone line that you can call in. No, let's, let's I had step it up. 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 And Andy said, you guys. <laughs> I, when I was doing the, I had that. <laughs> you had what? <laughs> Skype call-in line. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, well, I liked it better when you did it because you had new music and you would good, catch us off good guard. Good music, Those yeah. were the good days. Episodes like. Five-minute no, intro we, music. The intro is updated to reflect a, a, an award-winning show. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah, and you re-updated it. Oh, okay. Okay. can you play oh. it? Can you play it for us? Oh, okay. Well, we have to actually oh, listen to our own show. I don't want to do Ridiculous. that. Um, but just download last week's show. No, I don't want to listen to it. Uh, but we said, <laughs> here's the deal. Andy said, you've got to cut the show to 45 minutes. It goes okay. to 45 minutes. And we were all like, ah, okay. But why, where, what's that based on? He said, hunch. Mm -hmm. And you know, then, of course, I said, prove it. And Matt says, oh, you can't prove a hunch. That's why it's based on a hunch. So <laughs> That's we the said, definition of a hunch. Just we, like that. He was totally. Yeah. We said, write in, call us. Let us know. Let us know. Because oh, okay. people say, Send hey, you stuff. guys are award winning. Shave it on the side of your poodle. <laughs> You're award winning, but if it's award winning and it's 45 minutes, well, if it's award winning and it's 18 minutes, let's just give the people what they want. You know me, Kat. Just give them what, give they, what they want. want. That's right. Yep. And so, just so like far, Shea Rivera. so far, I'm, I've got a 60 minute little note right here and a 45 minute note right here. And so far, it's one for 60 minutes. Okay. So, okay, so it's one. Um, yeah. And also, by the way, next week, Andy. Jason Underwood and David Morris are potential guests. I haven't checked the update on. It's like 50 50. It's 50 /50 still /50 dead heat. It's dead neck heat. and neck? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Right now. Well, we need to also, somebody needs to get in touch with them and give, tell them when we're going to do the podcast and where to be and all that. And Let's make them both fight. Let's make them wear the shirt that I'm wearing. Maybe they can stand behind <laughs> us while we do it. Ooh. Stand behind Matt. Security? In case he, oh, you know what we should do? In case Matt. I'll tell you after the show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> they both have to wear the shirt at the same time? No, in case you like the idea, I don't want to be, uh, spoil the surprise. Oh. All right. Okay. So, did, Suspense. Did Jim Clark important. say what are you guys looking forward to at the conference? He did. He did. Yeah. Somewhere. I'm there. looking forward to the podcast. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Kath, what are you looking forward podcast to? Podcast. We have sure. a sweet sweet though. We have a sweet sweet? Yeah. We do. we do. We do? Oh, no, wait. No. I'm not invited. No. No, no of course not. not. McGill's on. Thank you. And you're, you're invited and up to my sweet sweet. Were the, were the other people decided the upon you? I think Duffy and Maggie are connected to our You know, I, I, I don't know. Fun. I asked you last night, and you said it didn't sound like you knew. I don't know. Okay, Andy. Oh, here's the something. updated live. No, here's, no, what this is, is this? The 65-minute, 45-minute poll. Oh. This is what's been on the site for the last oh, five Thank you for voting. 20 minutes or less, zero votes. Around 30 minutes, 42 votes. 45 minutes. 18 votes, 60 minutes, 28 votes. Longer than an hour would make my life complete. 28 votes. This so, guy. why? What's so, the time? Yeah, Around but they. Okay. But you wanted 45, so you're still totally wrong. No, no, so, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're you saying said your 45. Was shorter, and now yeah, you're saying Andy's right. This He's is got a hunch of me. 
Okay, so so what you've done now? Okay, Annie. Now these are people who are potentially not even listening to the yeah, show. Yeah, it's 116 and, and votes. They're totally listening to the show. This is on the podcast page. No, but you've you've look your website is hacker safe. Off. Look at Andy's right. Somebody so please hack the your website. Person. You didn't say here's Doug's opinion. <laughs> and they came off yeah. you, you skewed the vote. You skewed the vote. Oh, so hard. No. You did. It, you, yeah. You're a loser right now. Well enough, Andy. You're, a, you're loser. a loser. Let's keep going, you guys. Cause, wow. Because our 45 right. minute show is, is dwindling. Just give uh, people what they want. This is Tyler Volkers. Hey, Doug, Josh, Andy, Jana, and the other guy. Oh, that's funny. Wow. <laughs> When is speaking to teenagers.com going to be up and running? Every time I check out the site, I always see coming soon. It's a great book. I've already noticed the students commenting on some of my talks a couple of weeks after I've given them, which I call evidence of it sticking. I really enjoy the Ooh, website idea nice and hope it's coming it soon. I hope you guys work super hard and are really busy, but this could be a great tool for several youth workers to use. This the is kind book's of bag not on, enough of a tool? This is kind of bag on Andy. Day. You're really going to give this one to me. Huh? <laughs> You're really going to give this one to me. Speaking of Speaking teenagers. Teenagers. Dot com. Do you, oh, do we own Well, who URL? published that well, book? That's, yeah. that's cool. Zondervan published it. So the, shouldn't they do the website? Uh, maybe, but Andy said he'd do it. <laughs> so, There's anyway. this whole disconnect between content that goes on a website and the actual building. No, just put a sweet <laughs> graphics up there, but don't have anything up there, and then Doug will be like, oh. That's what's up there. Sweet, graph. sweet graphics. Well, then you have to erase <laughs> coming soon. Just let it be sweet graphics. Just put, just put all down. your ideas on speaking. You've got plenty of them for how long a podcast should be. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Matt, by the way, you don't listen to this at all, do you? I do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah. Like when? On my iPod when on the, the last treadmill. Time you've to it? Like last week, actually. Really? Yeah. Whoa. And I was trying to remember which. I think I've listened to one of the most recent, but I don't remember anything you said. We don't either. Uh, it's all right. It's kind of forgettable. It's I was not trying very to remember. If you just focus on the truth, yeah, you don't need to remember, remember things. Yeah, well, Matt, Matt doesn't have opinions. He just has knowledge. <laughs> I told Kathy that. <laughs> She's the only other person in the world that can identify with that comment. <laughs> all right. Here is a question from Philip Walker. He's student ministry pastor in Fountain Valley, California. I know where that is. He says, um, I feel like I, some of the leadership staff at the church thinks the youth, youth ministry is just over-glorified kids' church. I know that our youth church is a support ministry and the main Sunday service, mm. to the main Sunday service, but is the main service more important than youth church? Can you exalt one ministry over the other? How do you balance making your ministry important to the leadership by being a team player to the overall picture of the Sunday service? I think that has a, an element of truth to it, don't you think? That when you say, how is church, you're referring to the adult Weekend worship service typically. I mean, uh, so I would say to well, it'd be impossible for something to not have an element of truth. A hundred percent lie is po impossible. I think. Yeah. Do you think? <laughs> I have to think about that. I'll get back Maybe. to you. Yeah, you just noodle okay. on that for a while while you're driving around searching for birthday parties, and we'll. Okay. Okay, I'll have that'll give me plenty of time. They do. Pump it up. Pound they do. Maybe you can make a guest appearance. But don't you think that's true? When you say, hey, how is church? They're not referring to anything except Unless the two high school students expression. talking to one another. <laughs> Unless it was two kids talking about the yeah. service they went to. Could or high be. school students, not Could kids. Be. Yeah. Yeah. Don't no, it's definitely there. a great question. I mean, me being a smart aleck aside. Yeah, I think it's a great, great question. Right. I agree with that, Josh. Thank you for your opinion. All right. So somehow that was <clears throat> a compliment and demeaning at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, there you go. <laughs> well, Philip, I would say this. As a team player, you are you are supporting what is the overall mission of the church. If yeah. the leadership says the overall mission of the church is to grow the weekend worship service, and that is the overall mission of the church, and the youth ministry supports that, then you you are I mean if you're going to rank them right. you're second you're in second place there, you know an example of this Kurt Johnson this. and I just had a conversation this morning. They asked us to cancel our 11:15 service on Sunday mornings, our our junior high and high school yep. service, about a year ago. It said if people, you know, if we ditch the kids service, parents will move from that service to the other right. service. Right. So, you know, the student ministry in an attempt to be a team player, says, great, let's make it happen. Yep. And um, and thinking that, you know, typically at our church, people have responded and said, okay, we'll, we'll move. But, yeah. you know, 
pressing six, eight months later, it hasn't been the case. Mm -hmm. So we were actually just talking about that this morning, how being a team player has hurt the youth ministry. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. Yeah. But I, th I think that's part of it. You're, you know, you're not the, you know, as the student ministries pastor, you are part of the overall mission of the church. You're not the main part. You're part of it. Yeah, I think and the so main your part role is support. Yeah, the main part is ministry, ministry to the family, but people will always focus on the adults in that family, and we will then serve the family in an additional capacity, whether it's their children or their students or their whatever. But the adult ministry will always be the focus of the the a large percentage of churches. And then we come along in a supporting role of that ministry. Yeah. I does think that's doesn't a given. Mean it has to be that way. No, though. it doesn't no. mean that it's right, but it's absolutely the way I would say a huge percentage of churches are, are structured. Yeah. Some formally, but most at least. You know, when you formally. say, can you exalt one ministry over the other? First of all, I like the word exalt. That was, that was nice vocabulary usage. But um, it depends on the perspective that you're talking about. I mean, if you're talking about, um, you know, you, you can compare two different ministries and say one is more important than the other in terms of resources and time and staffing and, and that's just a hard decision of leadership that you have to make you make it all the time even within the context of your own ministry you say one thing is more important than the other and that's why you know the budget goes to buying curriculum and not ice cream or whatever so you have to do it in your context so to do it in the context of a whole church of course one ministry is quote unquote more important than the other um, in terms of, of strategy and planning and, and devoting things to it. But I think looking at it from a bigger perspective, obviously from God's point of view, one ministry is more important than the other. He's but don't you, you God is looking at that you are serving somebody else. The person who is serving somebody else by doing staples and they're doing that with a pure heart and they're stapling all these papers and you get the preacher stand up and gives a message all day serving is serving you're serving god's kingdom from his point of view one ministry is not exalted over another but don't you think this youth worker is saying like the let's just go real practical the bulletin right the youth program is a piece of yellow paper folded in mm -hmm, half and mm -hmm. that's the youth program but the adult service is like four, four color, color graphics awesome. and I mean, it, the cost difference, the, the right. people that created it. You have a team or a, a dedicated graphic designer where the youth ministry just hopes that somebody can do it or has a student do it. Yeah. So, I mean, I think you could quickly build a case for the student ministry always getting the leftovers or at least oh, a small a doubt. fraction of what the adult ministry is going to get. And I would say that's okay, cause that, and that's very much for reality. Well, and that, that's what I, I totally agree with that. What Matt right. was saying, that's what I'm time saying, yeah. and resources. But the other thing is, you know, you have an adult service that has 300 people at it, and you have a, you know, youth service that has 16. Totally. Your your resources are gonna. Well, and do the different. 16 contribute in significant ways where the adults? Yeah, do. you hate to you, you hate, hate to, to think where game. the where the money comes in. It's like sure. well, the adults are tithing, so it should go to the adults, and it's like yeah, but the adults are also corny, and and most of them are stupid. They laugh at anything, so you don't need to spend. <laughs> programming money with the adults. Don't you I mean, think there's a question here about family ministry? Know. Are we ministering to the adults? Are we ministering to the students? Right. Or should the church's mission involve the family? And we all minister to different parts <clears throat> of the family, but well, the didn't we have a question? Didn't we talk about that last week or two weeks ago? And, and remember what it was? You were actually pretty strong, like separate them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. You're right. And this is an a email that came in from Kevin Hauser, student pastor, First Baptist Church, Mira Mesa. He says, Last week, episode 65. What are we now? Yeah, 67. 67. 67. A couple weeks ago. There was a question about separating the youth out of the congregation for worship service. My response to that question would be, don't do it. All no, caps. No, no, no. Don't do it. <laughs> no, all caps. Yeah. All right. Keep going. a little more emphatic. No, you're just trying to be funny. Because Kathy's here. I don't like you to turn it up and off. Um, I'm instead, down Instead, <laughs> teach your youth that church is not about their comfort or lack of boredom. Teach them that the relationship with God is not always going to seem exciting. They need to learn the self-control and follow God yeah. even through those times. If they're bored, don't take them away. Have them get involved. Encourage the youth to do something in the service like yeah. sing or play in the band or uh, lead in some manner or wear small and tight shirts. Uh, or have All the those pastor lessons are totally appropriate for a crowd program. In a certain way. By the way, that teaches them how to be used of God. If they're bored, have them make it exciting. The adults will think it's great to have the youth involved. If you take the youth out of it, it will lead to a separation of the congregation. That is scary. Approach with caution. Gerbil Slayer. 
Gerbil Slayer. <laughs> Gerbil Slayer, fantastic. Got Matt's attention right there. Yeah, he did. He <laughs> was so he already out, had my thinking about missing his kid's World party and then back. Yeah. So, caution. Don't pull the students hey, out. That's, that's an opinion. That is an, uh, opinion. It's an opinion. I, I, I think it's valuable. I think it's Kath, we were talking about the fact that it's kind of like family camp. You say go to family camp, but you get to family camp, and then they take the kids away and the adults yep. stay together. That at church, we say let's go to church together, and we get to church, and the parents dish their kids off to Sunday school and child care and all that, and then mom and dad, yeah, you know, go to church. And, you know, I mean, we're a little bit different because we're in ministry and we're working all the services, but, you know, how many times have we gone to church together as a family? You know, very rarely. Very rarely. But well, yeah. when you're speaking. Well, I look, <laughs> I look yeah, down and see my family in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy yeah. that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that was your well, you know, I mean, gift. even when I remember growing up in a church where you did the little, um, the kids would stay in the church service for a while, and then the pastor did their thing, right. and then the kids went out. Yeah. Which was kind of a nice little happy medium because the kids didn't have to sit there. And I'm talking like elementary age kids. Totally. and And there's some validity to that with. Yeah. I don't really know if you said it all. You're just looking really hot right now. <laughs> it's so Matt, great. Andy and Matt were thinking the same thing. It's so great. To Andy and Matt. <laughs> So I never had a crush on Kathy. <laughs> uh, I was you never had a crush on Kathy? No, she was more... Are you like, sure? Was well, mean. What was that? She wasn't mean. Did you see the gesture she was right there? More, she was more... And I don't know what that means. Matt, happy Valentine's Day. No, yeah. more like your mother. I mean, when was the last time you thought your oh, mother was hot? Oh, you were really? When you were in the youth group, you th saw Kathy? Was totally. Yeah. Totally. A really yeah. hot mother. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? Oh, look. Hey, you want to do another question? No, voice? totally. No? I... Huh? I'm totally honest on that. Yeah, that's good. Really? Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Mm. Not, right. not not as fun, I guess. Yeah. No. Teach it that way. Yeah. Purity. You know, when your mom dies when you're little, it makes you pure. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you look for all right. Message number figure. two: Travis Williams, Andy, you ready? Right, here we go. <laughs> Matt, don't talk. No over talking. This. No talking. Are you not ready? Oh. Yes, oh. Hi, my name is Travis Williams. I'm a youth minister in North Canton, Ohio. Uh, this is Colin. This is, I'm actually in, uh, in the middle of watching your podcast, and uh, I have to say that I enjoy uh, the hour-long podcast. I drive a long way to work, and uh, I enjoy listening to it. And, you know, I listen to it in the car, so it's not like I stop. And, I mean, I'm listening to it on the way to work. So I'd say go with uh, as long as you want to make it, because after it's over, I, I'm always wanting more, and I wait. And I wait and I wait for you guys to update. It usually takes about two to three mm -hmm. weeks. Um, but anyhow, uh, uh, I really enjoy the long one. So that's my opinion. I like your opinion, Travis, <laughs> just because it's different than Andy's opinion. I'm not even sure it's right. But so Andy's poll counts as one. No, so no. those keeping track, it's two to one right now. <laughs> well, here's the deal with the poll. It's nice that Andy puts the little poll on the website. Yeah. And a couple hundred people vote. Yeah, yeah, but how many? Yeah, but you, you can could, skew the results yeah, with you questions. Could have been just voting ask Marna. No, you can't. You can't game it. Yeah, you can game it. You, you can, can call all your little mountain bike friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Mountain bike friends. That's strong. Hey, you know, Philip Walker also had another question. Josh, I thought this was, this okay. was you. Let's limit this to a one-person answer. You're the only one answering. Oh, wow. Unless no pressure. You okay. dated this yeah. one. A, you gave this one a Q minus? No. Question. Oh, Q for question. Yeah. It's like, man, Q that dash. sucks if it's yeah. a Q yeah. minus. That's one of the big things it. nowadays Q with minus. a service is the flow. I feel like my youth service flows sometimes, and other nights it feels very mechanical. Obviously, I don't want my students to get into the habit where service is boring because they know we're going to game, announcement, music, preaching, and it's boring. But isn't it important for them to kind of know what to expect from a service? Where's the balance of getting into a flow without losing the spontaneity of it all? What do you do at Saddleback to help students guessing and interesting? Ah, that's fun. Well, I would say our services are, we're, we're, our goal is that they're different in some way every week. And we actually have a pretty interesting example of this right now. We're in a series called Choose Your Own Adventure, and students pick the topics. And uh, they even picked some of the songs that we'd sing. And we had an item on stage this past week called the Board of Destiny. And you could choose the order of the service. So we had these elements, you know, announcements and message and one last thought and whatever. And a question mark mystery game. And the students could actually, we had one student come up on stage and Price is Right style put the order of the service together. And it was super fun. Made for a little bit of a messy transition. Had it's some, totally fun. It was so great. Like the one last thought 
was at the very beginning. So here I am teaching the final closing conclusion of the message, and I haven't even given the message yet. It was so fun. Um, so I would say the key is keep them guessing a little bit. I mean, a little structure, a little familiarity is good so that people feel safe, so that there's a little bit of an expectation of I know what goes on here. I'm, 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 I'm feel okay. safe to bring a friend. To bring a friend, absolutely. Yeah. You don't want it to be so foreign that they're going, oh my goodness, I don't even know this place. But at the same time, I like I like shaking it up a little bit. Why not just go ahead and let them choose which scriptures to obey? <laughs> We thought about it. I'm just kidding. No, I'm sorry. I just actually thought you were kind of bored since I said only him answer and I saw you checking well, That's what immediately went to email. I'm out of Google here. Reader, actually. I was seeing if you'd pick up on that or not. But we, we use these little devices that are going to be at the group conference next week, too. Little voting clickers. Are you guys using those? Yeah. We borrowed them. We, we, we don't, we we don't them. own them. We, we borrowed them for a couple but of we weeks. Could we got a bunch donated to us a couple of years ago. We could potentially own them, better. Josh. Way better. You know what we should do? We should get them to give them to our youth ministry, and we'll mention them on the podcast a lot. Well, like the what's the name of the company? Like choose Just a like, or don't B. say the name of the company. No, yet. we aren't. Like on a game show? But it's like, you know, we, uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. Let's get something. Yeah. You can vote for your favorite, whatever, if you're in the studio audience. We had those in the crowd this oh, weekend, and it was wildly successful. So, it was so, so he's fun. got every kid is holding this little thing and yeah. throws them up on the screen. I'm doing it this week. I'm speaking yeah. in high school. <laughs> And I can several times during my message I can say how many units do you have? How do you how do you feel on. about how do you feel about this? And they can vote right there and yeah. so like for example, this weekend's talk was That's on parents awesome. and we said rate your relationship with your parents. One is oh. bad, ten is perfect. And you click one through ten on your remote and then bam, the results of the crowd are up on the screen. It's like one it versus a cool. hundred. Very similar. We also did some funny ones yeah. too, like we did MySpace versus Facebook, and which is better, pirates or ninjas? We played, we played a little, <laughs> yeah. to teach them how to use what it. What was the Facebook one? Um, MySpace won by over ten percent every time. Really? Yeah, ten percent. <coughs> it's not that high, but no, it was like sixty, sixty forty ish. Okay, fifty seven. Twenty percent. Sixty forty. He's changing when you challenge him. Yeah. I meant 10% more than 50, sorry. <laughs> I used to work for Barna, so I don't know how to keep track of that. Um, <laughs> that was a good callback. Thank you. Anyhow, point is, change the service. Keep it yeah. familiar but different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Choose Your Own Adventure videos. This is fun. You'll, get, you'll, you'll have one this weekend. Well, and you can follow the Choose Your Own Adventure at Josh's blog at morethandodgeball.com. More than dodgeball I love it's like that a picture title. Of my shirt. I love that name. I want a more than dodgeball. Do you want a T-shirt? Are you doing a more than dodgeball T-shirt at the group convention? Yeah. Where why do we call it the group convention, not the group SYM convention? I don't know. I don't know why they go. Why do we call it the SYM group slash National Youth Small Conference? Group Convention? I mean, That's not bad. <laughs> I know what we can call it. I'll just write it out right here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I group, know what you're thinking. Grouply. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Anyhow. It's fun. No, he doesn't. So, so we did a Choose Your Own Adventure video. I'm just going to keep going strong with this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Morethandodgeable.com, where we play a little video, and then they choose one of four endings based on what they voted for. So fun. <laughs> so fun. All right, what's the name of it? What they, uh, I told him. I said, I knew that's what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't have to edit the show a second time. Hey, Am I allowed to say that at the actual conference, since no. we're already be there by then? No. no. Here's it's Brian Ferry. He says, would you be willing to add an afternoon of the group conference Specifically for volunteer staffers, maybe Sunday afternoon. Specifically for the folks in the host city, my 25 plus volunteers. Why can't not just say for the you the whole weekend? Could do a Sunday afternoon, and I could bring them for 50 bucks a person or so. It could be <laughs> now. Once I mentioned dollars, Andy, goes, yeah, good Andy, idea. Right? Oh. Uh, I don't know. What you said good idea. Right after I said $50. Purely no, coincidental. Yeah. Volunteers, because that's when they could come on Sunday. Okay, I okay, think listen. That's great. Listen, we'll I would play, love to do that as we, a volunteer. you got to play this back. you got to play this back, <laughs> because I promise you, as soon I'm, as I said, and I could not afford to bring them for 50 bucks, as soon I'm as I said, the note, as so soon I'm as I said 50 bucks, you go, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, okay. Promise me, will you listen to this back? I will listen. Okay. So why don't you connect you with Brian? Will you delete that other part where I kind of had a meltdown? Yeah. We're going to edit the show. I for didn't the have third a meltdown. I had an explosion. <laughs> All right. This is from Nick Wittenhall, North Haven oh, no, Church. Like North Haven Church would be where? North Haven's Connecticut. Okay. says, I just finished speaking to teenagers. Great book, but I have one problem. The website that is often mentioned in the books is coming soon. What? What? Another one? 
The same one? Um, <laughs> the same says, person. Doug, ever since you offered to pay for one month of babysitting, remember oh, this guy? Oh, that yes. In, um, At a convention in? San Diego. San Diego? Yeah. Yeah. I've San offered Diego. to pay students for babysitting, but they keep refusing to accept it. Oh, That was nice. the Lord right there. I, I know. Your students. Look at that. They <laughs> want to do it for free. Thanks for offering. Maybe you can offer the same deal to another needy youth. I'm going to get it for Josh. I'm I gotta, in. I got to do it this weekend to the kids. Oh, let's do it. Can I need some babysitters, too. We're down to one person. Okay. You are? Mm, sorry, you're not a part of the high school staff anymore. Oh, I wish you were. Oh. Yes. I'm not part of the podcast. Oh. <laughs> Never no, really have been. Like it's <laughs> kind of been your own podcast. <laughs> True. Well, I'm the you guys are no show. longer part of my podcast. <laughs> we just got kicked out of Matt's show. He says, uh, well, another question is, have you ever thought about doing a segment on the podcast about creative dates for spouses? Well, let's no. talk about that. You guys are here talking about creative dates. What was the last date you went on? <laughs> went to the movie Sunday night. Yeah, How that's it? creative. Yeah, let's, yes, I can imagine. Yeah, I've never. Felt. When we were supposed to go to the movies, it was supposed to be a boys' movie time. Well, let's just pause. I, was, mm. I confess to Josh. Kathy and I were supposed to start a, joining a new small group on Sunday night after church, but after preaching six times, oh. we were, we were going to go to the small group, and Kathy said, "Yeah, they're having this this guest in from Kenya, a missionary in from Kenya." <laughs> and I said, "Oh dear, I'd rather scratch my eyes out than." What movie did Not you see? Not because he's a missionary from Kenya. No. Let's make sure we're straight on that. No, Just exhaustion, tired, checking yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A like if we were to go Kenya to the small be group, top notch for yeah, us. Absolutely, we'd love to hear. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. but if I was to go to the small group, yeah, Kathy went. Wait, what? I sorry, I went the next day. Yeah, they got together again the next day. Oh, so wow. I went the next night and got Good to meet him. Good for you. Him. I was I was so tired. Still Six tired. Six services because the weekend before was Super Bowl mm -hmm. Sunday, oh, yeah. and I only did four services, and it was like I didn't even work. A walk in the park. Didn't even work. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we should switch to yeah, four. Yeah. So we did a movie. We what haven't movie created. Did you see? We should just confess that right now. We haven't been creative with our dates. Well, let's Football get. Football games. Baseball games. We've kind of been in a kid zone lately, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Well, let's We're let's do a quadruple date. Let's get some good steak. Maybe Matt would buy. <laughs> I've got a uh, <laughs> gift card to uh, Roos Chris. You do? <gasps> oh, speaking of gift card, Matt mm. stole. You know, I sent you that email. Said, "Did you steal the Chick Fil A thing?" Yeah, I'll what was? McGill stole it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I don't know all of it. How much? How much did you steal? What'd you steal? Twenty-five bucks. Oh, that's all. Awesome. Oh, fifteen. Where'd you get it? Fifteen. He knows because he took ten. No, it said on the card know. fifteen. Oh, wait. I, I had an additional ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You did. Oh, you did. I'm not speaking surprised. of additional ten, what'd you do with my breath mint stuff? I put it on your desk. I thought you were going to talk I about know, that shirt. What did you say you threw in an extra 20? I'm not sure I believe all this. Oh, okay. Um, uh, well, Doug has this fascination with this particular kind of breath drops. You can only get them online on eBay now because they're not available in stores anymore. They're discontinued. Because they don't have alcohol in them. They don't it's have alcohol. It's not a fascination. Sugar. It's a total no, addiction. It's a, yes, yeah. thank you. It's, it's, a, it's a serious problem. They burn my eyes out when you... You're well, supposed to just put it in, in your mouth. Your tongue, babe, not on no, your... no, no. You put it on your These tongue. These eye drops are killing me. Ah, I, my eyes smell good. <laughs> uh, if you accidentally put a drop in your eye. So you're, oh, you're, by the way, come here, come here. I have contact now. What? You do? I couldn't get the contact in today, this morning. Oh, Wait, I was mental poking weakness. my eye. No, I'm, Wait, I'm, did you wear it yesterday? No, no. You didn't no, do it I yesterday, yesterday either. I couldn't get it in my eye. The day before. so many Oh, dude. Here's how you do your contacts. you got to do it up and down. To get it in. I try it up and down. Cody had to pull it out of my eye the first night. We got a Monday. You are so weak. Be there with me, dude. Kathy, yeah, I'll help you. It's great. Kathy it's great entertainment. Was, she was crying and laughing so hard. <laughs> watching and me. then and what Cody you do too is you okay, put, anyway. a, it's put a drop okay. of water in the inside of it before you put it on. Not water. I don't think I, look, my eyes don't even open up there. Dude, that's plenty wide. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man, I was doing this You're all like morning. I'm, I was late for my appointment. I was trying it so much. Get them on. Okay. I was yeah, required. I was red. I didn't say anything, but yeah. it's still a little bit. Yeah. Looks oh, like you've been poking it with your eyes. <laughs> Sandpaper. So anyway. Okay. So anyhow, found so I found, stuff. I found this guy selling them, and they're like, they're four ninety nine and a couple bucks shipping. So they're like six, seven bucks, whatever. And so I get him down to two or three bucks. I forget what it was now, including including shipping. So I was really proud of myself. Took a little time, but I, I got you a good, good deal. And um, so I bought $100 worth. And my plan was to give you a few extra for your for your birthday because I, I missed. Oh, we isn't that nice? So did nice. you take them? 
So they should takes be them in, out of there? No, no, no. They oh, should you be didn't? There. Not, a, not a one, no. Oh, really? Yeah, so there should be 36 three-packs, which is whatever that is, 100 and something. 36 three-packs. You got it down to 395 for a dozen. <laughs> Sorry for bothering you. I checked your email. <laughs> That's okay. So thirty-six. Yeah, tell, tell them what I did this morning. Then, to, did you count each oh, one? Oh, he see? had them laid out all over the counter. He's like, "Look at it! It's Happy Valentine's for me." <laughs> he was so excited. I opened the box to make sure they were there, and it was full, and oh, it smelled so, good. And I'm like, "Doug is going to be so, so excited." Because I was Maybe down to my last one. Maybe you should go out for Valentine's Day <laughs> with his me. gift card to well, Ruth's Chris. As long as he wears that shirt, <laughs> this is where it's at. <laughs> Wow. So enjoy your breath mints when you run out. There's only like 60 of those left in the world. You can't let that guy hit you anymore. You what? Okay. You can't let that guy hit you anymore. Tim. (laughs) It still hurts. I know. know. There was a visiting news worker. see it? (laughs) There's a visiting news Let's stop and tell the story. Okay. Okay. Kathy, the podcasts aren't usually like this. We answer a lot. Usually we're blazing through questions. (laughs) There's a visiting youth worker. I don't believe you so much. There's a visiting youth worker in here who, I'm not going to say his name. I but he's a, he's, friend. he's a friend of ours. Oh. But he slapped Josh like three times no. in the back. It was, fat. it was two. And it was awkwardly a hard slap right in the this and my shirt's tight, so I don't have any extra excess shirt to absorb the blow. Yeah. And a little padding. Yeah. <laughs> But you know how well, a fat hurt. smack can hurt. A fat smack hurts. Totally. It yeah. does. You, you can gotta... feel my pain. Well, totally, because the nerves are already stretched further than they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, uh... So they're highly so sensitive. Anyway, oh, yeah. the, the guy, sensitive. The so guy leaves. Me. The guy leaves. He did it. I thought he hit you three times. Oh, it's still It was twice. Hurts. He got him twice. Because I almost twice. was like, dude, you do that again, you're going to be killed. But he, and, he, and he leaves, and Matt goes, hey, Josh. You can't let somebody hit you like that. What did you say? The law is what? The law is times four. Is you that have to get him back. The law is of the, the jungle. Zach you have law? to get the person back times yes. four. The law of the jungle. Yeah, or the guy The guy will keep doing it. Isn't that in Matthew 5? Somebody slaps you. Smack him back Slap four times back harder. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, Tim Schindler, will, youth will. pastor, Georgetown Baptist Church, Georgetown, Kentucky. I mean, have you, like, wrestled with him before or something? Never. It was like you guys Never. were good buddies. Yeah, We've were, gotten have tattoos together. <laughs> I just visited the podcast page on the website and recorded my vote for the 45-minute show, but I'm a little worried about the results. Most of us would prefer the shorter show or probably also those who are too busy to linger and take all the time to register to vote. I love the show, but I'm afraid the results mm. won't be indicative of the wishes oh, of all your loyal exactly. podcast oh. listeners. Well, I usually wouldn't spend the extra moments to do this, but... I thought it might end up saving me more time in the long run to vote and write in. And I'm not just saying this because I have a man crush on Andy. Oh, yes, you do. I think you did. Woo! You just All right. true colors. That's 45 minutes. This we'll give you one, even though he voted on the podcast. So for those of you listening, I would prefer you to send an email. But you can vote on Andy's lame little skew <laughs> deal. Um, or just stop listening. This if is you don't Tom, like it, don't listen. No, we're asking people to... It's an award-winning yeah, we're show. An award-winning mm, show. That's true. We want to know if forty. Yeah, someone has to be it. worthy to listen to this. Tom Ewan says, "The longer, the better." <laughs> so Tom oh, says, yeah. I'm go three sixty to one. minutes oh. there. Oh, no. He also made a rude comment. I'm not going to comment on that. Really? <laughs> ben Wiggins. Ben Wiggins says, "I like the sixty-minute edition of the Uh-oh. podcast." Ben Wiggins. Hey, why don't we go to um, Alex Gorid, Andy? Uh, phone call in if you want to call He's in message nine four nine. Two four three zero oh, five seven one seven one Andy or nine I can't read your writing that's seven one oh five seven one nine four nine two four three zero oh, five seven one send you your contact send your you questions send yeah. your questions yeah. to podcast at simplyyouthministry.com because the questions that come in the next few days are the ones that we're going to answer in Cincinnati, in Cincinnati in our live show Big no I thought right we were going to do live questions at the show we'll do both Ooh, we really haven't questions. decided a lot of Actually, pressure I think we should do a we five might hour podcast time. Before the Cincinnati show. Should we do a warm-up show? You ready, Andy? We're Here quiet. We We're quiet. Hi, my name is Alex Gorod. I'm the youth pastor Hello. of the TAB Youth Group in Goldendale, Washington. Our church is New Life Assembly of God. So you can insert your Pentecostal joke here. Anyway, the reason I'm calling is to plead with you to not listen to Andy on how to do this show. It'd be like listening to an American Idol reject for singing advice. Or to bring it closer to Doug's age. If the podcast is the Beatles, Andy would be Yoko. Don't let Yoko break up the band again. I think instead of using voting to decide the length of the show, show, you should instead put all the numbers on the ground and lie on them and pray, because that would be the spiritual thing to do. Thanks. Bye. 
Alex, perfect message. Yeah, Alex, that was great. Age. No, that was great. During that the was... message, Brazel said, I don't even know who Yoko is. Oh. <laughs> uh, at least watch Flight of the Concords. Oh, please. What? Yeah. No, well, let me, let me just give, um, I want people to keep voting, but here's my, my pile of oh, go. voting stuff that I will just go through right now. Here we go. Um, 45 minutes is insane. I love what you guys are doing. I've been doing it since the beginning. Would someone please tell Andy to pike down over there in his corner? 45 <laughs> minutes would be crazy. I think the truth may be Andy needs more time to train on his mountain bike because the last we heard about it was he challenged his small group to race him on foot. Even better yet, have Andy go outside on his bike and get some food for you guys. <laughs> yes! I don't know uh, around 45 minutes and just continue on the wisdom via my good friend Matt and his cronies stationed around the table. Matt, nice. maybe this will get... Pee Wee and his bike in the paper again, except this time the headline would be producer with heart bikes for co workers lunch. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's okay, a strong sorry, Brazel. We wow. all love you. I know your heart is bigger than your ears. I wish I had oh, 10 wow. or even Not one possible. volunteer leader as good and as beloved as you are. But come on, 45 so minutes. Do we. Finally, give the people what we want. Go for one hour of the normal award winning shenanigans and make a transition into an additional 30 minutes being a topic from the book PDYM. Start with chapter one Whoa. and Ooh. just round table the topic. What the chapter is about, what stories have happened since, maybe something that has changed since you wrote it in wow. 1970, oops, I mean 1998. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Cross, nicely you, done. Well wow, that gets nice. two, that gets two ticks. No, I didn't get two. <laughs> this is from John Acree. I am not a full-time youth worker, so I work on Design Engine for 40 hours a week. I love to listen to podcasts during the work day. I've been a fan since episode 00. I like wow. the 60 minutes. 60. Bingo. Now, are you, did Matt you purposely Murphy. not print out the 45s? No, I got, no, I gave there's every, some 45s in here. Came in. Okay, okay that would one. be awesome if you didn't print out no. the 45s, by the way. Hi, Matt McGillan, podcast friends. Thank you. Oh. What award <laughs> did you guys win? Most belches by Matt in a single podcast? Just curious. <laughs> Anyways, I prefer the 60-minute diatribe over the 45-minute because you spend at least 15 minutes yapping. Normally funny to get everybody on the same page. Good kind of budget, in my opinion. <laughs> All right. 60 minutes. Um, this is from Jerry Steyer, 45 Five minutes is better for me. Love you guys, though. Oh, okay. But he's just saying better for him, not better overall. Hey, too <laughs> short at 48. Count. I like the hour plus. Keep up the good work. Hour plus. Wow. We have a new category. At least that 60 minutes That was Nick now. Wittenhall from That's North Haven Church. This is from Ryan Linda. I enjoy the hour or so podcast. I felt like the latest one. Remember last week we did 48 minutes? Yeah. Felt rushed and just not as free, and I enjoyed a lot no. less than the normal ones. <laughs> Bra this just proves that he does not have the digital pulse. Apparently, his gut, his hunch, wrong. Yeah, this Rob wrong Miller. Hunch. I vote for sixty or ninety minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yeah. This is from William Hartz. Episode sixty-six. Let's give all these guys sixty minutes or one off. hour. It says, "Dear Doug Fields Posse, I've been a listener since episode zero zero. In awesome. addition." I subscribe to about two dozen other ministry and technology podcasts and web shows. I know I'm a geek with too much time on my hands. Wow. I think the hour show is just fine. Oh. Most audio shows I subscribe to are in the range of an hour. Oh! A few sometimes oh. spill over into an hour and a half or even oh. two hours. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> it's lively and engaging, and the time really doesn't take away from the quality of the show. Oh. The beauty of podcasts and subscribing media is content on demand. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> I could start it's listening, pause, go demand. to work. Don't be a time limiter. An hour is more than acceptable. Thanks for providing the show on a semi-weekly basis. It's been a valuable resource, and Matt's near-divine wisdom and Thank wit you. are an inspiration to us oh all. Brazel, welcome Hearts. to Web 2.0. <laughs> Leo Garlas, I think 45 minutes Leo. is perfect for the show. Oh, you guys do a great job. That's a, that's a voice. Thank you for all the ideas. Oh, Tell know. Matt I don't have a middle name just like him. Have that's a good a, time. It's, that's it's a vote for Ron Paul right there. Good this job. is from Sean Penrose in Woodland. Says, you guys always leave me wanting more. We want 60 minutes. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, this is Bill wow. Newton. Regarding... Figs. The brother. issue of whether the podcast 46, I must say, though I'm not generally a fan of torture porn, I am casting what? my vote for the 60 minutes. I don't Did get you read that out loud? Down, I apologize. No, I didn't, was no. it spam or was it real? No. What? Okay. I think he's trying to be funny, but how do you make a joke about that? Wait, so we're hurting? Nah, just keep going. 
He voted for 60, 60. minutes. Hey! <laughs> so that's that's why it. we that traded it. Got it. We, got the we don't know what you're into, but yeah, 60 minutes it is. Uh, Greg Flanders, New Brighton, Pennsylvania. My vote is the longer the better. Maybe mm. the show goes longer. One of my email will have a chance of being read. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Thanks for all you do. Oh, I don't know why it wasn't read. It must have been too long of an email. There's a tear forming in the corner. Oh, of here we go. Last, <laughs> last one I've got. All right. Definitely go 60 minutes. This is Corey Dean West from Friendswood, Texas. My 60 minutes with you reminds me I'm not nearly as screwed up as you guys. Great job. Whoa. Love the good I work. Beg the I right. beg the difference. All right. That we was have 15 to 3. We oh. have our answer. Doesn't even come close to skewing the online number. All right. So <laughs> keep going online. Keep sending them in. Call 2430571. <laughs> Send your emails to podcast at simplyyouthministry.com. This is from TJ Rust. Guys, I think since we did 45 minutes last week, we go 60 minutes this week. I think we go 90. <laughs> <laughs> Start the tape over. Here we go. TJ I said, Rust. Brazel, make sure we can go longer than an hour at in Cincinnati. He's like, what? No way. Really? How can we do that? The tape's only 60 minutes. I go, Brazel, I think you could buy two tapes. <laughs> You know yeah, we'll just stop the show. That'll be, that'll yeah, be well, I'd be quiet for a second, and if they miss a little bit, then that's okay. <laughs> and then I said, just have two cameras go and turn them We could have on. an interlude or a halftime or something now. Yeah. yeah. We'll, have, we'll have... To people, change a tape out is like shirt. 14 exactly. seconds. Exactly. I'm going to wear the shirt next week. I bet they could Intermission. change the tape could faster have... than 14 seconds. You think? I think, they could. I think Andy... Is no. as let, athletic as he is and nimble, he could do it in five seconds. I know, but sometimes you have to wait for it to go... Yeah, yeah, da, da. And that takes 14 seconds. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, can, Ooh. we can pause for 14 seconds. Yeah. TJ Russ, Mappleton, Georgia. He said don't say his name. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> it's in bold, first line. Can't, can't say how much you enjoy the podcast. I have to admit there's no, several no, times I've laughed try? so hard that I've woken my wife up when I've been listening late at night. She will ask me what's so funny, and my response more often than not is, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he listening to our I show? I totally relate to your That's humor and styles and just love the hour or... Oh! oh, oh, oh. It's not a question. 16. It's a vote. <laughs> or so of entertainment and a couple of minutes of youth ministry knowledge. I'm six minutes. months into the new ministry in a suburb of Atlanta. Okay, this one is a little atypical. We've done yeah. more babbling and contest uh, counting yeah. than questions. So yeah. this is really More flirting. Isn't. <laughs> That's uh, Andy. We are a smaller church, about 150, with a f very limited budget. We have to do fundraisers for our big senior high event during the year so students can attend. Most of the families in our church can't send their students on their own and rely on contributions from others in the congregation. My question is this. How much should the students have to come up with on their own, and how much should... Um, we come up with the church or congregation budget fundraising. Fundraising seems to be a necessary evil to allow our students to go, but there have been a lot of hurt feelings and conflict over some students paying their way versus others who work a couple fundraisers and are totally paid for. Any input would help. It's a good question. Well, huh. fundraising sucks. Let's start there. There's uh, a little element of truth to this question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing is... The other thing is, um, I think, philosophical deal, yeah. is if we could get a youth ministry to not, for money not to be an issue that keeps kids from going and not going, right. I think that should be a goal. Mm -hmm. So if we can figure out how to fundraise so we have a budget where, if you want to go on a mission, like, we were, we were taking kids into Compton, so Compton's inner city LA, right. so for us being Orange County kids, it's 60 miles away. It's they're going to go and serve and yep. work with broken down homes and yep. men fences and help orphans and single moms and stuff like that. And Josh, the high school ministry was charging twenty bucks. Twenty bucks to go. Yeah. So I'm in there and I my first thought was, do we really want to charge twenty bucks? Now I know we got to pay for transportation. All There's only three minutes left. Lunch. Lunch. Oh my gosh, Andy. Yeah. Um, so, but the the deal with that was. I said to Danny, the guy who was overseeing, I said, let's just make sure that if any kid wants to go, exactly. that money doesn't keep them Not an from going. Yeah. Which I think is, we got to figure that out. How do we do stuff? You know, if we're just doing ski trips and Disneyland and all the fun exactly. stuff, then, you know, they can do those in, in their homes. That's the third time you've checked your email. Just flip your but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like they're in the situation where they can just do that. I mean, this is a, this sounds like a tough situation where they, it's even hard to raise funds. Yeah. So, 
I just know that when we've been in that situation before, and some students don't have to, there's always a piece of ownership that makes it better. I remember us having conversation going, oh, yeah. little Jimmy wants to go to camp. Let's pay for him. And then he shows up the next week, and he's got a $100 pair of new Nikes on. Aaron Goodrich. <laughs> oh. That's best friend in high school. Oh, sorry. No, but it's exactly but what you call him little Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> um, but see, what I, what I was going with first, babe, was to say, to start with a philosophy that we don't want money to be an issue. Now, in this church, money is an issue. Yeah. So they have to fundraise. But I can understand why it would be disappointing if you're a parent and you're dishing out money and your kid's working the fundraiser for other kids and they're not working it at all. I mean, I think as a youth pastor, there's got to be a little requirement and a little reward. Totally. If yeah. you want to go on that trip, you got to work this fundraiser. That's right. just how it is. If yeah. you don't work the fundraiser, you don't go. Right. Yep. We did that with, with Mexico. You know, you, you want to go, you got to be a part of this. Or you create a scholarship system that other people, I would scholarship a kid to camp, but I want him to work work that off. Yeah, yeah, no, I totally agree. And don't you think when a student has to give raise some of their own money that they have more ownership of that Absolutely. event? Absolutely. They get more out of it because there was a cost. I mean, I think if I'm given a free ride to an event, it's not as significant as if I earn at least part of it. Yeah. And yet um, you're yeah. always looking for a free ride. Well, absolutely. <laughs> but okay, well, let's yeah, do, no let's do something here. Let's, I'm just talking about lunch. Let's take a 14-second break. And see if Brazel can do tape. put a new tape, tape in. I don't have tape. You've got to get a tape. <laughs> You've got to have a tape. Come on. You tape. record you over the same tape every week? Every week. And we gotta just say goodbye. We just but the say quality of the tape, huh? We this can't. We can't come up with something. Oh, we'll just do audio. Then we'll run out of tape before I uh, find a new one. That's and okay. Well, but what if we it. stop it? What if we stop it and put a new tape in, and then we can we can just we I'm can experiment for the first time. Okay. Okay. Great. We'll, we'll no, do just another, keep it going. We'll, we'll wait another, over that. We'll do mm -hmm. another ten minutes, okay. but just to show that we can do a two tape show. Stopping. Okay. No, don't stop it. Go get the tape first. I don't know where tape is. Well, no, you don't have to stop it. Bye. Yeah, we, we don't see you again. Nadine's <laughs> 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 got one right there! Oh, oh, oh. There are no oh, more tapes. Okay. Yeah. Nadine's got one right there. Nadine, who's getting the sound. The, the, I, don't, Andy, I don't know where any tapes are. Nadine just, just right got one. <laughs> 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 Nadine might have just... Nadine was just let go. I'm okay. sorry, Ash. <laughs> sorry, bro. It's okay. Sorry. Doug okay. will hire you back. You can work. Right. Ready, Andy? Okay. We're stopping. You want this door shut? This might have been the one that had an issue with it. Do you want the door shut? We recorded... Kurt the other day and had to that he died. So Kurt. That's okay. <clears throat> Why can't he hear? Oh, he can't see. Oh, he's recording right now to the computer. Oh, so, you are. Oh, so he's still going? recording. Oh. It's not even tape. The tape is backup. Wait, you don't even need a tape? Is the tape backup? Well, we capture from the tape. No, he's capturing to the computer. Oh, oh Brazel man. doesn't even know his yeah, web 2.0 right now. Come on, Come on producer. Oh, How many no. How people watch it on It's really watch recording it into the computer right now? Half. How sad is that that Brazel doesn't know that was the reason yeah, we're he good. gave yeah. was okay. to move parents All right. we're to back another on. service. Okay. Ready here. We're good. Hey, Chris, Chris Davis. Oh, man. Ready, one, Hour two, and a half three. show. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're back for tape number two. All right, I like it. It can be done. Look at Andy, Andy left the room. Andy is Andy so bummed right now. He's consulting. Yep. He's, he's consulting with the Nadim right now. His, he's going to get a new tattoo. His ears are, oh. Angry, angry. They be on fire, but okay. they're just okay. covered in ice. He's not going to listen to the whole thing, so if you're listening right now, would you please send in those of you who are 60-minute people? And no, you're still no, here. I want to. I want to legit. If you're it. still here, they're going to vote for six. No, minutes. I want legit because maybe there's a 45 minute person who's going. Yeah, and this was a little who's bit going, of an anomaly. Uh, when are they going to be quiet? Well, this was <laughs> a little bit of an anomaly because we spent a lot of time on the on the. Um, Every show is an anomaly. That's what's I'm awesome. That's why it's award winning. That's what makes it. Normal. That's it's just a mixture of keep them guessing yet keep them comfortable. <laughs> it's flow. <laughs> and it's flow. Choose your own. Choose podcast. your own podcast adventure. There I you like go. It. Here we go. Okay. Question time. Hey, that. I wonder if we could do that. Have people vote? Post questions oh. and let people choose the questions they want answered. Yeah, we could absolutely do that. How would we, we could do totally that? do that. That'd be super easy. That's have easy. people instant message the questions in. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, let's put that off to the okay. side and smoke on that later. Web 2.0 that Joshy. Doug, mm -hmm. Josh, Matt, and Jana, do you know any curriculum that deals with God and the internet or students and MySpace Facebook? Looking for some help. Love the podcast. Let Matt know he isn't the future of the church. He is the church of today. 
or at least that's the crap my senior pastor tells me <laughs> when he wants to get me out of his office. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> this is from Kevin Bates in Dayton, Ohio. Any curriculum that deals with God and the internet or students oh, in my face. Brazel. Brazel need to console himself. Oh. Cookies. Here oh, we go. Happy Valentine's. Valentine's. Where'd um, these come from? Mm -hmm. Downstairs. Who Jack cares? We know so where they're going. Right Does everyone know that Jack's your dad? On the podcast? Does everybody know Jack on the podcast? No. A little bit. No. We talk about him every once in a while. No, I don't. I like Jack. I got a crunchy one. Tell He's me in the airplanes. Yep. <laughs> um, Josh? Sorry. Because yeah. that is the thing about if we have to go over an hour, we're going to have to bring more food. <laughs> Absolutely. I need some more drink. Andy has to go to the bathroom right I now. I know, Andy. Let's <laughs> deal with drinks. Yeah, <laughs> one in the fridge, one oh, cold fun one. I know. Who drinks diet anymore? Yeah. Diet so, so like. <laughs> I had to get those <laughs> drinks for myself, though. Yeah. How come you didn't get some more for us? How come okay, do you know any curriculum that deals with. Okay, right we're now. now getting bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We, the show should be 60 minutes because yeah. we just lost interest. Do you know of any curriculum that deals with God and the Internet or students and my space? Baseball? God and the Internet seems really weird to me. What, what does that mean? A Christian, um, Christian view of the Internet? Your Christian faith. How, do you, how does your Christian faith intersect like with Bible.org? I feel like, no, I feel like I've seen something. I can't tell you what it is. I feel like I've seen something. Yeah, about, or too. somebody maybe taught something, God, Josh. on Facebook. Well, I've, I've definitely taught. It's called MySpace on MySpace is the one that I've taught, and it's... I mean, a clever title. We can link to it. I posted all the notes and everything up free online. So yeah. My face more on than Facebook. Dodgeball. Up. Yeah, more um, than Dodgeball. I can't put it up there. But I can't think of a lot of small group curriculum, but there are a couple books out there. There's parent books. Yeah, there. there's some great parent books to deal with that. FaceTime on Facebook. So maybe we'll add to the links of the show. Is that okay? This is from our buddy David Morris. Hi, Dave. And uh, David Morris is um, running. Kathy, you don't know this bit, but uh -uh. David Morris and Jason Underwood both sent in videos Oh. To try to fill Matt's seat in Cincinnati. Because we months ago, we didn't know if Matt was going to go or right. not. We thought he might be in Kenya adopting Moses. Yeah. Go ahead. You're driving me crazy checking your email. I just want to let you know you're driving me crazy. I'm just looking. I'm what sorry. Are looking, what are you looking for? I just need to know if something's happening in Corona. <laughs> sorry. Because what are you going to do? Are you going to leave the podcast? I'm going to be excited. Oh, you can't be excited while you're here just being obedient and serving the Lord. Okay, back to David Morris. <laughs> so, got an email. So, these guys shot videos about why they should fill in, but now that Matt's going to be there, we don't really need to fill in. But oh. we're saying, you know, if Matt throws a well, gasket or something. Of votes. Well, no, but then they yes, researched the podcast it's and Field video. said, he said, well, if Matt's there, they could still be there. They just won't talk that much. So, even though I'm going to be there, they still want to be there. Yeah. Sure, they do. Yeah. If they've sent in a video, they totally want to be there. 793 is who? Oh. Jason Underwood. 793. 793. And David Morris is 803? 803. Yeah, that's 50, wow. 50 on the button. That's wow. a lot of votes. Well, 1,596 votes. Wow. It's not really on the button. There's at least a 12 point difference there. But David, <laughs> David Morris wrote a question. I have a question Just for. 12 point? I'm at a church of about 160 with 25 youth. Yeah, of those 25, 10 <laughs> middle school, 10 high school are represented. I feel that I need to start a campus ministry in order to move to the next step in my ministry. What criteria do I use to decide which school I should invest my time in? All of these schools have anywhere from 1,600 to 4,800 students, and I have about two or three at each school. No one school has a massive majority. Where do I start? The one that's the most lost. <laughs> I was thinking the one that your favorite kids are at. <laughs> That's See, funny because so I was thinking the same thing. You were? Well, I was thinking. It makes it easier to get on campus. If you got two or three kids at each, you don't you don't need to necessarily start it. You know, you could start at one, but two or three kids at each, visit them all. You got ten ten middle school, ten high school. You know, yeah. hit two a week, yeah. and you're you hit them all, and see which one has some potential low hanging fruit, easier conversations, more access to campus. Sure. Um, That's teachers. a big deal. More access to campus. Well, and you can see what other what other churches are influencing particular campuses. Maybe there's a a great Christian influence at one of the schools that you could say, oh, I don't need to be there as badly as this. School Hence, the more lost. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It all comes back to your wisdom. Yeah, I would say because <laughs> thank you. Th think about think about like when we here we got Saddleback right here, and we've got Tribuco Hills High School, El Toro High School, and you got Cap over. What we would tend to do is which are the ones that draw the most of our kids Absolutely. in there. We're going to put a heavier presence yep. yeah, there location, those, on those close. campuses. Yeah, 
But if each of them have two or three, I would say at that point, see, and of those two or three kids, you might have some kids that are embarrassed of you being there. Right. And maybe you don't start with them, and, and right. maybe you're giving examples in your messages. Hey, I was at Tribuco Hills High School this week, and right. I had this great conversation with this tennis coach, and you know, blah blah blah. And the kid comes up to you afterwards, hey, how come? When are you going to visit my school? Exactly. Little, little momentum build. When it becomes a little bit more lost. <laughs> <laughs> lost is on tonight. Well, and is it possible oh, that you could go to multiple campuses on a regular basis, too? I mean, there are four or five days in a week. Could you go to a couple of them and adopt maybe two schools as kind of your target schools for a season, for a semester, for a school year? You know, yeah. I would, I would say with this question, where do I start? Totally. You start somewhere. Start easy. Yep. Steve Davies. This Start is easy. from the UK. Kath, I don't know if you know this, but not only are we award winning. How come we haven't we won any awards in the UK yet? We are international. Yeah, Does I the Queen you were listen tell to me us? The UK was not in the country. I thought you were going to define UK for me or something at first. It's oh. out of the US. In this yeah, yeah. Oh okay, that's great. Yeah. So There's a Commonwealth anyway. that goes along with that. Yeah, and we've been, we've got. Emails mm -hmm. from Germany and Switzerland, and How are we haven't got many international ones lately. Maybe have we they, gotten any emails from Tustin? Maybe they cut off it. Corona lost Tustin. He says, "Okay, I'm in Bible <laughs> college, have a full time job, and a youth pastor. It's all a bit busy at times, but my teens are hurting. I had to go away for a few weeks, and when I came back, my group shrunk in size. But since my helpers have left, leaving me very thin on the ground, we regularly have to cancel teen night because at least." I need to be have at least two adults on site, and it will just be me. Yeah. I'm more than happy to do this. I feel safe, but legally and because of insurance and requests of parents, this n cannot be done. I would love to do my youth work, just not in my spare time, but as a full-time job. I hope God brings me that day pretty soon. Can you advise me in any direction? I'm meeting my pastor soon to see what we can do, but it's just a pain in the neck. Hmm. That is Immediately tough. Immediately for a quick fix, I go straight to those parents that don't want you not to have have it unless there's enough parents there. Ask those parents Invite if they'll be along. there with you. Yeah, tell them to suck it up. That's right. a great answer. Why don't you join the they show just, regularly? Yeah. yeah. Seriously. And if they say no, just then it's there. But like also offer it just, just be there. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to mingle. If it's presents only they need, and then you might actually get volunteers yeah. out of it. Yeah. That's good. That's a great, great answer. Parents. So good, I have nothing else to add. Wow, that's a first. Wow, just think hey, of the most lost parents. Kath, thinking about next week, Yeah. you are teaching. How many women are in your spouses? Right well, now? I think I have women and men. I have spouses, not just women. Oh, you have men in there, too. I huh? do, I believe. You're doing a track at the um, SYM group uh, <laughs> youth ministry conference. Yes. And it's uh, about thriving as a spouse. As, as a, a youth worker. Youth, youth worker yeah. spouse. And yeah. We're and like up over 150. Yeah, that's awesome. Up and over. That's, that's awesome. fantastic. What's, what What are some of the things you're going to be talking about? For eight hours. <laughs> Don't scare me, Matt. <laughs> it's four two-hour sessions. That's nothing. Four two-hour sessions. That uh, sounds like a lot hey, to I'm me. Hey, I'm telling yeah. you, when I but when I when you and I have done marriage and family question stuff, I mean there is no shortage of conversation and question and yeah, the whole bit. So. Yeah, no, it'll Just be great. Exercises. We're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about. Anything from like being first married and how you adjust to marriage and ministry or even changing like vocations if you've been married 10 years and all of a sudden your spouse wants Ooh, to go in youth good. ministry, that big change and how to balance it all, how to include your family so your kids end up liking Jesus and liking church at the end of, the, at the end of all of it and all Cre that. Creative dating. Yeah. Josh is going to handle that one. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we don't do, we're not doing a good Creative job right now either. So. But dating and spending time with your spouse, totally, Absolutely. we're going to cover yeah, that. Yeah, how yeah. Important Days it is. off. Days Ooh, off, balancing your schedule and yeah. lots of stuff. And yeah. then anything anybody wants to bring, we're going to be able to have conversations and question and answer the, uh, time and what about interactions. The S, the S word? The sexual. Skeet shooting? <laughs> the sexual what? Part of marriage. <laughs> Were we talking, part of you talking about that? Wait, was that going to be part of it? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, they're scaring me. Well, no, I'm not teaching on sex, Matt, in that sense. No, but but youth sure. in need what to sense? Know. <laughs> There's only one what sense. Is, what do youth workers need to know <laughs> about that? 
<laughs> I'm just going to go back to all the conversations we had in high school. About like whether they should have it or not? Yeah. 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 I would be telling them they should have yes. sex. Yes. 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 I would be telling them they should. If they're should. married. If they're married. <laughs> and well, they should not. be having it with their spouse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Fair enough. Yes. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'll make that clear. As often as they can, right, babe? Yes. As often as Three possible. or four times on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Should we? Do you want us? Do you, <laughs> During that session breaks, if need be. <laughs> Absolutely. A little homework. Ditch a general session. We'll be doing a little, a little homework. homework. That's a good. Give them an assignment. You know, we'll come back in the room and talk about it. Yeah. Speaking of Natalie, whoever remembers Natalie. I remember used Natalie. To do this podcast. Yes. If you're an old podcast listener, yes. you need old. to ask Natalie about her mom teaching on that topic. Oh, we've already. Have you already gone there with yes. Natalie? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we her have. mom em- is embarrassed me just sitting there listening. Did right. you hear her name? Andy, Great. let's do the last phone message that okay. we've got. And by the way, if you want to call in, 949 because we can play these in Cincinnati, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, probably. Well, oh, yeah. I heard a yeah. Yeah. Hey, Andy, make sure you have two tapes next time. Thank you. Hi, this is Travis Williams. I actually had a question whenever I called earlier. I forgot. Um... I'm new at this church. I've been working at the, as a youth minister for a month now. Um, I'm just out of college, and uh, it's a congregation of about 300. And, and right now, I'm I'm extremely bored because they um, have me doing office hours. Uh, and during the office That's hours, there's not question. a whole lot to do. I prepare my lessons and pro, uh, plan programs, um, but I, I sit around. And the reason they want me to do um, these. Uh, office hours is because the youth minister before me was really not organized. He never had any office hours. Like, if he didn't want to come, he just didn't come. And so they're kind of watching me a little bit. What's your advice on that? Things to do at the office. I mean, there's visiting kids with lunch, but um, I just want to make the most of my time, but I just don't know what to do with it. So, uh, thanks, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Wow. Bye. Andy. Oh, Andy. Really? oh. But in post production, people won't even know what just happened. So just keep going, That's right? That's right. Andy, you did good. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, Travis, good question. Um, you're extremely bored at your office, not a whole lot to do. Have you ever thought about blogging? <laughs> <laughs> More than dodgeball. I, I can say I cannot identify with this guy's question whatsoever. Yeah. You guys would be happy to know I didn't have even blog today, just for the record. Why would I be happy to know that? I, I like know. your blog. I don't know. I go to your blog now. You do? Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, because I feel like I, ha- I don't see as much as I do. I know. Now I that feel you have the same job. Yeah. Um, so, what? Indiana Jones. <laughs> All right, maybe I blogged <laughs> once. <laughs> Why let the truth get in the way of exactly. a good story? Yeah, that's right. No, not so a, there's plenty of things to, to do at the office, though, right? Don't you think? <laughs> Like, I need to go there right now. Or there should be. There should be, yeah. Yeah, like, I have a lot to do. Let's talk about yeah. what I have to do. Yeah, you got to get ready for a talk this weekend. I have to prep my talk this weekend. Yeah. I'm actually editing a chapter of a book. you got to figure out how to use I got to do my spiritual thing. review. I am having a spiritual review tomorrow with Pastor Rick. So you're going to do a quiet time today. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to figure out how to get your contact in. <laughs> i got a lot to do. Today. you got to get your Invisalign lined up, right? Okay. Where is it, by the way? It's so mm. invisible. It's so invisible. It's so invisible. It's not even in. See, I feel pocket. bad for Travis. You're not answering Travis's question. Babe. Oh, no. please. Oh, sorry. Way That's out of so line here. When have we <laughs> ever answered a question? Way out of line, <laughs> Kathy. Oh, she just oh. tried to reel in the podcast. Careful. That's oh. like asking oh. Oprah to make sense. <laughs> No, she's no. right. We should answer Travis. Travis, let me, what, here's what new. He needs a little guidance. Here's right. here's the deal. No, we were just actually. I, I'll tell you where I went to. I went to. Gosh, wouldn't that be nice to sit at the office and have nothing and be to like, do. what do I do right now? Yeah, because he's new, <laughs> Travis. I will tell you this: your a year from now, it will not be like that. <coughs> yeah, I mean, when we bring in interns, they come. Don't they? It seems like you know we're we're. Tasmanian devil around them running and and they're like gosh I don't feel like I have much to do um, take advantage I would say this one read like crazy yeah. get as much reading as you can study prepare your lesson plans think out write parent letters you know begin begin um, handle some of my emails <laughs> <laughs> but here's the deal there is there's do a ton some to do for me. but you're also there's something bigger than this it's not just what am i doing right. in the office he's now 
trying to change the perception of the last youth worker. Uh, okay. And that's, that's the biggie. So he's really paying for, quote unquote, the sins of that last youth worker in that they want him there. So in being there, write letters to kids. I'll give you Absolutely. 10 things to do right now. Let's just come up with 10 things for him to do. Great. Okay. Well, you said you're going to give him 10 things. Okay. Well, I may need a little. Write letters. Okay. I would love to help Write you. letters to kids. Right. Two. Write thank you notes. Prepare your, prepare your uh, weekend lesson. Your message or lesson. Uh, three. Prepare a month's, yeah. a month's worth of lessons. Four. Put together a training for your volunteers. Uh, five. Make phone calls to some of your parents. Uh, six. Read Purpose Driven Youth Ministry. <laughs> Seven. Seven. By Bible Institute. Download. Read first two years. Download oh. a podcast. Eight. Eight. Vote. More than dodgeball.com. Vote. <laughs> <laughs> vote on a 45 or 60 minute podcast. And vote 60 since you have plenty Nine, of time. Nine. Call all the schools in your area and find out the demographics, the numbers of them. Ten. And if you're allowed on campus. And that will make oh, that as yeah. part of nine. Call your that, yeah, and yeah, that be several I calls. That to be part okay, of nine. call numbers and find out if you're out on campus. Uh, ten, write your senior pastor. A love note. A love, love note. Happy Valentine's, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Oh, there's ten things to do. Oh right gosh, there. no, no. Okay, wait. Eleven. It's Valentine's Day. This is going to be posted on the fifteenth. If you forgot to do something and you're married, do Flowers. something. Flowers. Flowers. Okay. Can I tell you that I said to Matt yesterday? I said, Miguel. I said, please tell me for Valentine's Day you're going to get me your card. He goes, Yeah, I was thinking about that this year. I always get her a card. <laughs> she is. She's going to bank her holiday. <laughs> she likes she's to do that. She's filing away for <laughs> late does. June. She's a practical gal. She's, a, she's, the, she's the wonder me is what she yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Just bank that. But, all right, Travis, there's 10 things to do. There's 10 things to do. And it didn't even include more than dodgeball.com. Oh, that was my <laughs> list. That was my list of 10. That was my list. Of 10. Uh, I love it. Okay. Teaching plan, philosophy, long-term strategy, recruit potential volunteers. The list goes on. Study the Bible. Study the Bible. Read the Bible. Pray. Well, I think part of it is, too, is, <coughs> is if you don't have a strategy or an overview of your ministry, create that. Spend time Absolutely. thinking and dreaming. Because once you have a strategy and you look at it once a week, you'll find plenty of things to do yeah. and don't you think I that mean, this is a good plenty. reminder as i do well. think it i just i'm going to answer before you even say yeah. that yes <laughs> we think student ministry is all about ministry to students but there is a whole pile of administrative tasks if you're the only youth worker or you're a youth worker on a team you're a volunteer part-time doesn't matter there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to happen in the office during the week not just spending time with students yeah that's right. This well, is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a side we don't like to talk about. Purpose driven as youth reality. ministry. And Travis, <coughs> just know for a season you are you are earning credibility. You are Absolutely. earning chips in your bank account by being there and being positive and being a team player and helping out around the church office and Don't go know. around and talk to everybody in the office. Everybody <laughs> might be with two people. Michelle. That's don't go around and do that. You, that's the do worst. Not develop relationships, Travis. No, 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 no. Don't be a bathroom? don't Can be a say, busy. But you don't you know the people that are in the office and they walk around and talk to everybody, and oh. that's worse. That that's, gives you a worse repetition. Repetition. If you weren't there, than if you weren't there. I don't that, know. If, I, interesting. I don't know. If but I maybe but not worse. But, but still crappy and bad. Wasting bad. time. Right. Buy into yeah. this. If they've given you office hours. And they're awkward. You know, you work at night, you work in the morning. Now it's a split shift, yep. which is very much the reality for a bunch of these workers. Embrace it. All right, we're in an hour and fifteen minutes. Nadim wow. has officially fallen asleep as our sound guy. Andy's <laughs> oh, ticked. Oh, I'll go wake him it's up. It's sixteen to two on the forty-five to sixty minutes. Send in your emails to podcast at simplyyouthministry.com. The next time so. you're posted, oh, Matt went oh, the there whole. It was. The whole podcast without one. See you one. in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Send in Nadine your City emails and cookies. we will read them Absolutely. in Cincinnati. See you there. Blessings. Kathy, Bye. Thank you. It's got just enough youth ministry so that you don't feel guilty listening.